to my channel. So this video is pretty much just going to go over some of my favorite, favorite products from 2016. Now I went through a lot of products, I tried a lot of different products, and I also started this YouTube channel. So this is a big, big deal for me to actually have summed up and narrowed down some of my favorite products. So if you're interested in seeing what worked on my hair the best throughout this year, then stay tuned. Right. <laughs> favorite, favorite shampoo is the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with castor oil and aniseed, uh, I guess aniseed oil. And this just, it's almost like halfway through and I got this not two, maybe two months ago or so, but this just works really well. It detangles, it moisturizes, it just, my, my fingers just run through my hair when I use this. Like I have a video, I can link the video I made on this in the Moroccan pair, but this is my favorite shampoo. Like this just turns my hair into silk when I'm shampooing and never does my hair feel that good when I'm shampooing. So many people will co-wash because shampoos usually strip your hair. This cleans so well, but it moisturizes, doesn't strip at all, and it has amazing natural ingredients. So if you're looking for a really like organic natural shampoo that will keep giving you results and actually make your scalp feel clean because I really am big on keeping my scalp clean. I've, that's the one thing I've done a lot this year was I was really focused on keeping my scalp clean. Even when I was in braids for my protective style and to where my hair is just natural. I'm big on keeping my scalp clean, which is why I like shampooing. Okay, and I couldn't just pick one <laughs> shampoo because I'm a shampoo girl. I love shampoos. Thankfully, I've been lucky enough to find a good amount that actually worked well for me this year. So I had to narrow it down to um, my three favorite. And besides, of course, my Camille Rose Sweet Ginger, which I love. I love these Shea Moisture um, shampoos. The Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Shampoo and the Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Shampoo. Like, I don't know about you, but I like to smell of roses and I don't have a sensitive, I don't have a very sensitive nose, so it's not too strong overpowering for me. It smells great. I would definitely suggest using the shampoo and conditioner. It just makes your hair soft, it makes it shiny, it smells good, lathers, it softens, I feel like it moisturizes. This is perfect, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. I think this is perfect. And then the Yucca and Plantain shampoo. I just, I really like, I really like this Yucca and Plantain line. I don't know why people don't talk about it that much, but it works so good on my naturally thin, you know, density hair. But this Yucca and Plantain line, like, always gives me, it controls frizz, but it also gives me some volume. And it also is very moisturizing because it has um, Baobab oil, is like one of the featured oils. And... I wish I had a bottle of the Baobab oil, but that would be included if I could because Baobab oil, I don't know where it has been my whole life, but my hair <laughs> loves Baobab oil. When I had that oil to seal, it was a really good sealing oil, which is why I look for Baobab oil a lot now in my products, especially in um, deep conditioners or shampoos and oils. So this shampoo, I think, compared to the Camille Rose and the Peace Rose, the Yucca and Plantain shampoo, the reason I really like this one is because this is really good for um, like frizzy, when my hair is feeling frizzy. I was going to deep conditioners because um, that's just the order in how I do my hair. A lot of people I see just do shampoo, conditioner, and then a deep conditioner. Which to me, if I'm going to use a deep conditioner and a conditioner in a one wash day together, I'm doing my deep conditioner first and then following that with a conditioner. because. To me, putting something that closes your cuticle and seals stuff in, which is what a conditioner does, before I put in something that's supposed to deeply penetrate into my strands, doesn't make sense. Deeply penetrate something and then close my cuticle and sit and seal everything in makes more sense to me. And it's been working this whole year. My favorite deep conditioner is the Shea Moisture You Can Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Mask. Yeah, just with Baobab and cilantro. This is just so, so good. And I don't know why people don't talk about it as much, or I don't see it on YouTube at least, but I love it. This one just it, takes the cake because this makes my hair soft, smooth, the, like the least frizzy my hair can get or has gotten that I've seen is when I use this mask. And especially when I use this mask with the rest of the Yucca and Plantain line. So I really like it. I usually don't feel like I, I need a conditioner afterwards. I might just go straight to my leave-in, but you know, if I really want to, I'll just, I'll follow this with the conditioner to this line and it's just like everything. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's kind of thick, you know, it's a nice, you know, regular creamy mask. 
texture and if you like you go like this it's not coming out it's a pretty good thick um, deep conditioner and even though it like the consistency looks like thick in the bottle when you actually like when I actually put it on my hair I just feel like it melts it melts into my hair really easily it's a good amount of slip my hair sucks it up and then I use heat with it and then when I rinse it out after using heat with cold water done I do have a couple other honorable mentions for my deep conditioners raw shea and kupawasu frizz defense hair mask this is definitely my separate my second favorite mask by shea moisture everyone's always talking about the jamaican black castor oil manuka honey those honestly for my like i said my fine 4ab hair if my low density strands those the manuka and the jamaica black castor oil they didn't mess my hair up or dry it out of course i just feel like it was too heavy for my hair if that makes sense like i just feel like um my hair didn't have as much volume it felt a little like maybe sticky or coated too um on a normal day-to-day -day, not really i like masks that pretty much my hair so sucks up almost immediately you know i did a video on this mask too and i kind of explained like the whole um, the ingredients a little bit more and like how they actually are strengthening even though they don't have protein in them So it really does like moisturize for like it strengthens and it also smooths like The Yukon plantain is the best when it comes to taming my frizziness But this is a close second and for my one non Shea moisture mask because not all my favorite masks are from Shea moisture I couldn't not mention the Mayal Organics Babasu um mint deep conditioner this is the best non shea moisture mask that i've come across so far but this babasa oil deep conditioner by Mayel organics worked so well i love the smell i love the tingly feeling on my scalp and my curls i feel like my curls get so so juicy and healthy and bouncy and springy after i use this like i think i've used it three times yeah i have one more use out of this probably and it's almost gone but you can see this has like a really light, you can see it's moving. This is a really light consistency. Slip, it um, penetrates almost instantly. It feels good on my scalp almost instantly. My sides, of course, because you know, I always keep my edges <laughs> conditioned so that they can lay. This feels so good everywhere. And it just really, really refreshes. It refreshes, moisturizes, and I definitely feel like this is a protein um, deep conditioner too. You know, I so. only have one favorite conditioner. And the funny part is that, like I said, even though I don't really like the Manuka Honey mask, like I said, I think it might be a little too thick and too heavy for my hair. However, <laughs> the conditioner, the Manuka Honey conditioner, this is my favorite conditioner. But pretty much the sum, this is really moisturizing, but it's lightweight. My hair sucks it up and it really deeply moisturizes my hair. So, really like this. And my favorite leave-in is the Main Choice 3-in-1 leave-in. Also, my double as my favorite co-wash, too. I tried this as a co-wash after I finally tried the As I Am co-wash and, like, did my first one in years. So then I decided to try this one, and this one blew me away. Definitely blew me away to As I Am co-wash. So detangling, so moisturizing. It's really, really a good co-wash. Like, this is definitely also... A vacation getaway product it's a co-wash it's a really good leave-in you can use it at night to re-moisturize this does everything and it smells good and the ingredients are good it's just I love this product I really like main choice and this 3-in-1 conditioner is a must it's a must try must try to me and my favorite favorite cream to retwist with is the yucca and plantain anti-breakage styling milk and I know it's just like anti-breakage and strengthening, but I don't feel like I get my hair ever get my hair never gets hard. It feels like it's protein overload or anything when I use this. I can use a lot. Of, this is just a moisturizing styling milk to me. It gives my hair. I feel like I don't know if it's hold or if it's just really really good at defrizzing my hair because when I use this, I always get really really good twist outs. My hair is really moisturized, it's smooth, it's shiny. I don't have that much frizz, but for just all year, anytime, if I need a good moisturizing cream to retwist my hair with, that will give me 
the least amount of frizz in the morning and be super moisturizing, then I go to this. This beats out every other milk I've tried by Shea Moisture. There's always good results. And my favorite all-time oil to seal with right now is the Main Choice Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote Oil. As soon as that Ancient Egyptian line came out, I think I bought the mask and I got the oil. And I've already repurchased this oil because I use this, I literally use this every time I need to seal my hair with oil, I'm going to use this oil. This oil is just all around so good. It has four amazing oils, Kalahari oil, watermelon seed oil, the oleaster, olive oil, mangongo oil, and baobab oil. All those oils are super moisturizing, but this oil as a whole really penetrates into my hair. It really moisturizes it. It smells amazing. It just makes my hair just so, I just feel like it just makes my hair overall just healthier. I would highly recommend this oil. You can add this oil to a, another deep conditioner. You could seal your hair with this. You can do a hot oil treatment with this. Okay, so my last, last favorite product um, of 2016 is a gel. And I don't use a lot of gels. I haven't tried that many gels. Maybe like four gels I've tried. But of the gels I tried, this main choice, Crystal Orchard, was a by 10 infused styling gel this worked so well I personally just use the main choice three one leave them i use that underneath this gel and that's all i need um my hair was so i think i have a video yeah i have a video on this gel and i did a twist out i can link but this gives you such it gave at least me such good definition i had such a strong hold from this but it wasn't crunchy and it didn't dry my hair out either. It just was a really, really strong hold. And I loved how it smelled. Like, you do smell this the next day. Like, when you shake your hair, I could smell it. But it was, like I said, it's just a really, like, fresh, fruity or floral kind of smell. It's not bad um, at all. And it's not, I don't think it's too strong either. This gel has a whole bunch of good ingredients. It smells good. It's not drying. But it's also just as much hold if not more hold, and then I feel like I got with the Eco, at least the Argan Oil Eco Solid Gel I have, I feel like I got more hold with this. It's so much. It's a 16 ounce, and it's very, very easy to use. I just can dip my finger in and get as little or as much as I need, and it's fine. It's not a mess, and I don't feel like I'm wasting any products. So I don't know when this expires. There's no expiration date on this, but I just feel like I'm going to have this gel for a long time. Okay, so that's all my products. For 2016 that I just cannot live without um I did try a lot of products this year you know I was just starting my new hair journey and really get my hair healthy so these products are my favorite so far and they've really been working um don't forget if you like this video or if it could possibly help you or a friend give it a big thumbs up also you can share it and comment below too let me know what your favorite products are or if you tried any of these products because even though these may work the best for my hair right now, something else could work even better for my hair. I just haven't tried it yet. You never know until you try it, right? So yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Um, next year, it's going to be in February. It'll be a year that I've been on YouTube. And I really am going to start um, trying to get more interactive. I'm going to try to do some giveaways, some contests and everything. So definitely stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram. My name is WaterBabyKen. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.